Hey friends, Tyler Patner here. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, in my normal YouTube perusing, I kind of came across some of these videos where it's like, guess the thing blindfolded. And we thought it would be a good thing to do with air guns. So we're gonna give it a try. We pulled a couple of our employees in for this. We're gonna do a couple different videos. If you guys like them, let us know down in the comments. Let us know what you thought. If somebody's an idiot, if somebody's a genius. I personally am expecting to do quite well at this. We'll see how everybody else does, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's jump in. My name's Edward Politi. I've worked for Pyramid for almost four years now. Hi, my name is Stacy Rayback. I've been with Pyramid Air about 15 years now. Hi friends, I'm Tyler Patner and uh, I've been here for nine years now. My name is Val Gammerman. I've been at Pyramid since a long time, 1997, 1998, so 25, 6, 24 years, something like that. Basically forever. Yeah. This is a weird slide. Backserrations only. Kind of feels like a Glock. And it's got a BB mag. Oh, I don't. Oh, shoot. Um, it's like a Umarex gun. I don't see. I, don't, I can't remember what, what models have that type of ma magazine. 99% uh, sure it's a Bursa. Yep, I think so. I can shoot it, right? It's safe. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, blowback. There is serrated slide. Drop out mag, full CO2. Half blowback, no exposed hammer. This would be, this would be a Smith & Wesson MPN40. Are you sure? Or, <laughs> oh, it's got CO2 in the grip instead of in the magazine. Oh, I want to say, is it a Walther? You are incorrect. Oh. It what? is a Bursa oh. BP-9. Oh, I, okay. <laughs> I seriously thought that's what I had. Can't think of what they call it. <laughs> Shit. This is probably one Eddie didn't get either. I don't want to say like a crossbin C1 or something like that, but I can't. I, I'm not sure. It's a Bursa BP9. Oh, there you go. Okay. I think it's a Bursa. Is it like a BP9 something or other? Yep, that's it. Dope. I don't know. Maybe a CZ. One of the CZs, maybe. I'll go with the CZ. Going with the CZ? Yeah. Uh, no, it is a Bursa BP-9. Uh, okay. You give me the most difficult one first uh, you, to I, shatter my these, confidence levels. These, these aren't terribly easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fill in the top of the slide. That's the barrel. CO2 cartridge will go in the mag. Safety. Oh, um, this is like a Beretta. Um, Beretta, uh, uh, The fully automatic BB gun. Another pistol. Uh, it's a Beretta variant. Hang on. Uh, I'm trying to see if it's full auto or not. Where's the little flippy flip? Is it not the full auto? See, here's the thing. So this could be like the Crossman PF whatever. It could be a Beretta M9A3 or 92A1. That feels like a Beretta. Oh, 
Ooh, that's got, oh, it's, so it's full auto. Uh, I want to say it's the Taurus version of the Beretta. The PT-88? 92 FS. I'm going with that. Going with that? <laughs> yeah. There's so many options. I And since I can't see colors, uh, you know, I don't really know if it's tan or not. There's some subtle differences. I'm aware of that, Matt, but, you know, it's not... Um, Hmm. Is this not a full auto variant? Who else makes a 92 clone? So, but the Beretta doesn't do that. I don't, the 92, the Berettas and the, yeah, have the thing on the side. So it's not that either. Is it the P1? You wanna, you wanna know what it is? Hang on! I wanna say it's a Swiss Arms P92. Wow, I'm impressed that you guessed that. Cor that's correct. Very nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> but it's made by Taurus. It's the Swiss Arms K92. Ah. Oh. See, I don't, oh, I don't know Swiss these Arms BB K guns. It's a Swiss Arms K92. Is this Swiss Arms P92? Yeah. Oh, Swiss Arms P92. That's a nifty little switch. You know, I've not seen that personally. Uh, and I still haven't seen it. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, you know what? The back toggle for the CO2. I know that magazine. Okay. We got a 1911. Ooh, sleepy gun. And it's got smooth grips. Dang it. All right, two for two. Has anybody gone two for two so far? Nobody has gone two for two. Wow, that's impressive. Val's gonna suck at this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just snorted. Uh, it's a 1911. Uh, um, hmm. Wait, what in the, oh, that's locked back to the rear, got it. Whoa, did that just fire? Eesh. Rough trigger. All right, half blowback 1911 with a tactical rail. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, expose hammer, serrated slide. I'm not sure what's going on here. That does not ring a bell. Oh, yeah, safety's got a little button. Is this the Six Hour Scorpion or is it the Emperor? Like, oh, no, that's the Spartan. It's the Six Hour Spartan 1911. You're correct. Yeah. I gotta get one. Oh, um, hmm. This is gonna be a Six Hour, six hour 1911. Yeah, I don't know why the, the super grips are smooth. This is um, like a special edition. 1911. There's that one that's like uh, got like some military vibe going. I can't remember what it's called. I'm sorry. <laughs> Six hour 1911. Yeah. It's the Spartan. Spartan. Okay. I knew I had some sort of. <laughs> that's right. A military logo thing going on, right? It's a SIG. Mm. All right, it's the... Uh... Wow, that was lucky. <laughs> uh, is this the Scorpion? Sig, it's definitely a Sig. So they make, it's not the We The People. Can't be that, could be... I don't feel any logos. So it's there's a Sig Scorpion, and then there's the Molon Labe gun. Uh, Scorpion 1911. No, it's the Spartan. Say the Molon Labe gun. I don't know what that's called. 
Do you put it back together? I don't want to touch this. One of the tactical 1911s. Oops. With a non-full grip. Uh, with a non-full mag. Oh, I'm blanking on that. Damn. Uh, I'll still go with one of the Zig 1911s. Maybe that uh, Scorpion? Scorpion? Yeah. Mm, super close. This one, uh, this is a Spartan. Spartan. Damn it. I have trouble with that one too. Oh. Uh, it's a revolver. Oh, okay. So it's got the lanyard. Single. Single action? Does it have? Yeah, it's got double action. Ooh, we got one of these goofy little uh, revolvers. Um, I don't know. Very small grip. It's got like a Barra um, or Schofield or one of those ones. Uh, okay. So a revolver. Ooh, that's a weird grip. You know I don't do the revolvers typically. Uh, oh, I don't think it's, is it, is it mm, that's strange. Mm. It's a wobbly revolver, has to be, no, maybe in the gun? Yeah, it's, a, it's in the gun. Is going to be one of the ones that I've never shot before. Probably, I'm going to go with like a, a Barra, or I think all the Schofields are bigger. So there's the oh, is that the loading? Okay, so it's the loading gate. Oh, this is a tough one. Doesn't have the top, so it's not the Webley. Who makes this? Oh, I want to say it's a Barra. Does it have to be the model number? PT something. Some of the Barra. Oh, the Barra? Yeah. It is the Gletcher NGT. Gletcher, that was the other words I was trying to think of. It's that, uh, the Gletcher. Uh, I can't remember the name of the gun. Is it, it it's not a Nagant pistol, is it? Yeah. Know. It's the Gletcher NGT. Yeah, 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 the Nagant. Right. But the, come not, on. It's not a name. I, I get it. I know it is. But yeah. yeah. I'm calling that one right. I got it. Mosin Nagan revolver. Designed and manufactured by French for the Russian army in the early 1900s. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> it's the uh, Gletcher NGT. Nagan. NGT wow. something they can't say legally. I can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. Today was BB Pistols. Who knows what next time's gonna be, but we are gonna be doing this again. So if you liked it, throw us a like and let us know down in the comments what you thought of the video, what kind of categories or what types of guns you wanna see us guessing blindfolded next. For what it's worth, I think I won today. Yeah, we'll see how it all shakes out, of course, after the whole series is done, but I'm expecting to do quite well. Anyway, as always, like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate it a ton, and we'll see you next time.